All right, so welcome back to the White House Farm. Um, as you know, this is my 1978 Chevy C50, and I've been having power issues with it. Uh, we did the compression test, and everything came back good. Um, you know, other than I might have some some seals that need, might need to be replaced. I'm getting some oil uh, into the number one and three cylinders where the spark plugs are. Um, but this also could have a lot to do with it because I just figured out something and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the issue that I've been having. So let's go. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and hop in. All right, Danny, go ahead and start her up. All right, so last year when I went ahead and replaced the air intake, and the carburetor, I went from the old air intake and the, uh, it had a two barrel Rochester on it. Uh, so I wanted to get this thing a little bit more power. It is gas, it's not diesel. And with a dump truck, normally you want diesel, but this is what we got. So um, I upgraded to the four barrel uh, Edelbach carburetor. And so I was thinking I'd have more power, but instead I had less power. But I forgot that all this stuff it's all aftermarket and stuff needs to be fabricated and adjusted. And I thought that I had the throttle rod here adjusted all the way uh, to where it was opening the carburetor up. But apparently it was only opening it up maybe a third of the way. And that's why I couldn't get past like 50 miles an hour if I'm lucky. And then when it had a load in it and going up hills and stuff, it would just bog down and I had no power. So I'm going to have my son step on the pedal, gas pedal, all the way down and I'm going to show you where we're losing power and how we didn't have the full power. So, all right, Danny, go ahead and step on the gas all the way. All right, go ahead. So, I blew my hat off too. Um, as you could tell, when he stepped on the gas all the way, it had power, but it wasn't opening up all the way. So I'm gonna have him step on the gas one more time just to show you. Step on the gas all the way, and then release it. Just do two seconds all the way down, okay? okay. All right, go ahead. As you can see, it didn't open up all the way. So, this throttle rod needs to be adjusted if we can to open it all the way up. All right, so just to test this theory, uh, before we go adjusting stuff and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my nice red, white, and blue 550 cord and I'm gonna go ahead and tie it on there to the carburetor and dig it up through the hood there into the cab and we're gonna take a ride and we're gonna head up a hill and I'm gonna press down on that gas all the way and then I'm gonna pull this in the old death trap 3000 here and if it picks up and has power that's been our problem all along and that's what I'm hoping so let's go ahead and hook this up to the old death trap here and get moving.
All right. So now that I got my throttle adjuster all set up in there, let's go ahead, put this all back together and uh, take her for a spin. Got the old gun lock safety hood latch all on there. So that's all locked down now. So I don't have that hood flying off on me. That's never good. So, all right, let's take her out. What are you doing in there? Are you driving? Yeah. <laughs> all right, come on. Might do something. Let's hope. Like a kitten. Old lap belt on. gave it power and I didn't even pull all the way on it and uh, it started speeding up right away but that's what would happen I'd be going up these hills or have a load or something and it just wasn't opening up all the way um, so I mean that, that's that's huge to, to find this out because it's been a nightmare and, <laughs> and I, I was trying trying all different types of things thinking it was the timing thinking it was all different you know but something simple so that's the thing with uh, aftermarket parts, you gotta try and fabricate and 
make stuff work for you. So I still have to get in there and actually set this up. I might need to get a threaded rod from Lowe's and, and a longer one and hook that up and adjust it in there. But I don't know, we'll see, we'll keep posted. As you can see, the old Death Machine 3000, she just needed a little uh, little more pep in her step. So the throttle rod was the actual issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and end up uh, adjusting on that. And hopefully it's, it's long enough to make it open up the throttle all the way. Uh, if not, like I said, I'll probably have to fabricate something, uh, get some threaded rod from Lowe's or something. And, you know, got to come up with something. It's all aftermarket stuff. That's the that's the trouble when you put aftermarket stuff on these type of vehicles, especially one this old. Um, stuff's not going to line up, and you're going to have to become pretty creative to make stuff work. But something like that, I shouldn't be too bad. And uh, actually, I'm looking forward to having this thing at full power. So, all right, guys. Hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.